back. Today we're doing another tutorial. I'm actually doing an updated version on how to play PC VR on your phone, quote unquote, because I was very vague in this video and I want to redo it. So, what you want to do is search up Plutosphere. Then you want to click Plutosphere.com right here. This is a thing that allows you to play PC VR in the cloud. He is playing Half-Life Alex completely wirelessly on his on his tablet right there. So you're like, how do I do this? How do I do this? Um, first off, you want to sign up for an account. I already have an account, so you do not have to do this. You do need a hefty amount of tokens. Like I would say, if you're gonna play VR for a while, maybe three thousand to six thousand, which is might be a lot of money for you. Anyways, Pluto Drive is a subscription that allows you to save your work. Like, if you're playing Half-Life Alex and you want to continue your save, um, this is probably what you want to do. Now, you're like, oh, wait, Cole, this isn't free. I have to buy it. Well, what you want to do is go over to settings, or not settings, sorry. What you want to do is go over to the side quest which you can click right here. Then you wanna scroll down, then you wanna click on Discord. Open up it, open it up in Discord. This is the Plutosphere server. So, now, there will be public giveaways and user giveaways for the, if you just join. Public giveaways is giveaways that happen every uh, couple weeks every month it seems like but user giveaways are just giveaways that happen every once in a while they if people just give away random stuff like game pass sometimes you can get a hefty amount of people like a 9000 token giveaway 25,000 token giveaway but yeah that's how you get tokens for free so we go back to Plutosphere. Once you have your tokens, you just want to turn on your machine. Turn it up. Start that baby up. While that is starting up, I'll show you the other method that I have shown you uh, before. Go to shadow.tech. This is shadow. Pretty much the same thing as Plutosphere, just there's no way to get it for free. Like, no way. Unless someone gives you an account. So, what you want to do is just click the subscribe button. Here, you just want to click Shadow PC, type in your zip code. Alright, so, once you're on the screen, you just want to click either this. This one has RTX specs on it, so it has a RTX a, a 500, or a RTX 3060 or 3090, I don't really know. But, it has an AMD Epic 2, so this is like if you want to play hardcore VR games. This one also works. It's a uh, GTX 1080, which does work. It will, it will, it will help you in VR. So you, then you want to just continue, and then you, if you want to get extra storage, you can just do this. Uh, I want five terabytes. Yep. Now, this may come as a surprise to you. Oh, I'm paying forty-five dollars a month for a computer. Yes, you are. So you're probably like, oh, well, I want to do the 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 free version. But, if you want to get it set up on your quest, you do want to go to the side quest page again, and, and click on Plutosphere, then you do need a PC for this. You, 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 do, you, you can either use the, you can use the Android app, if you do not have a computer, but you do need a PC for this, so... You can go to like the library and install it, which you can actually do. You can go to the library, t turn on the computer, use your library card, do it like that. Or just ask a friend that has a laptop. Maybe your mom has a laptop for work. It won't like install a virus or anything. It'll just let you do that and then you can uninstall it. So you want to click download, download side quest. I suggest if you're going to install side quest for the first time, I suggest 
using the easy installer, but for now I'm just gonna use the advanced installer. Side quest setup. Open this. Click only for me. Install. Now, once you've done that, you want to click run side quest and finish. This will show up. Now, what you want to do is now I'm not going to actually install on my headset because I already have it on my headset, but you want to search up Pluto Sphere. Then click that. that. Then click download app whenever you whenever you have your quest connected. So now that you have Pluto Sphere, go back over to your dashboard as you can see it's now online which is a great for us now there is even more work you have to do you have to go to continue and you can just log into steam right here since it's already installed and there we go now we're logged into steam now you are able to play any vr game you desire as you can see, we can play Beat Saber, we can play Sorcery, Bone Lab, Bone Works, Contractors, Five Nuts at Freddy's, The Forest. Bad thing about this, you cannot play Gorilla Tag. Not at all. Uh, because of Lemming blocking cloud services, you cannot play Gorilla Tag. So that's the only game you cannot play. At all. Yeah, not at all. Into the Radius, Hard Bullet, uh, Veil, which I'm pretty sure you guys can probably still play. Uh, and yeah, pretty much that's it. I'll show you some gameplay now. Alright everyone, so we're on the VR now. Um, if you install the Pluto for client, this is what you want to do. You want to go to all unknown sources and then play and then find the Pluto for client right up here. I do not install it because I'm going to be using Virtual Desktop. Virtual Desktop is a paid uh, streaming thing. So... If you want to pay for it. Alright, so now we're entering into the VR. Entering into the computer. Now, sometimes it can get a little bit janky because of how it works, but I promise you it'll be easy to just get into VR. And here we are. We're into the computer, as you can see. Has pretty good latency. Bit wiggly on the controllers there. But we're gonna play some Rec Room. I know you may be like, oh, why don't you play a more. VR intensive game. I don't have a more VR intensive game, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> this is all running on the Pluto Sphere machine. So I'm gonna start a recording on the Pluto Sphere machine, and I'm just gonna show you that it's, this is all running on the Pluto Sphere machine. No PC gaming and no gaming PC involved ever. As you can see on the PC. As you can see on the PC, we have Rec Room. On the VR, we have Rec Room. So you click play, and we are in VR. And as you can see, this is really, really smooth. Like, way smoother than Shadow. Oh, that's weird. Mirror's weird. Oh, you see that? Okay, it may look, look a little bit blurry here. It may look a little bit blurry here, but you're playing Rec Room on Pluto Sphere, which is awesome, which is really awesome. So now go tell all your friends that you have the streamer cam or whatever, because of course, the reason you would wanna play Rec Room on a PC is this bad boy. Now, having the streamer cam, isn't that cool once you get used to it? But it's really cool. Because you can record videos, you can make skits, you can do TikToks, whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more tutorials like this, uh, where I just go over some VR thing or how to do something in VR, put a link, leave a like down below and I will maybe do another tutorial. We don't know. Thank you for watching this updated version of the video I made a year ago that was so rushed, it was unbelievable. This one, I hope I went into more depth, and 